Well, folks, welcome to everyone. With us today, we have Jerry of Pepper How are you doing, Jerry? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Show will start in a, in a while, but but uh, Devil in a Wing on stage. You've done a few shows so far yes. in Europe, and with the same guys you've been before with North America tour as well. So, how's been the you know response from your European fans on this leg? Uh, the response has been pretty good so far. We we spent we've spent most of our time in Scandinavia. Yeah. Uh, so far, and the crowds are okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've we've always been waiting for Germany. Okay. Because Germany is like top two in, for us for our, our audiences. So from the Europe or overall? Oh, anywhere. Okay, so which comes at on, on the top two? Germany it, and it's it's a uh, kind of goes back and forth with Germany and UK. UK, ah, yeah. cool. I I thought states, but no, no. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, it's something that we've been looking forward to. Awesome. Uh, I think this this yeah this is our first German day. Wow yeah yeah yeah, you, yeah, yeah so, that's right. So we're we're very much looking forward. To have it. you guys played at Hanover before, or this is the first time? We have once before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I honestly can't remember. Man, no oh, way. sorry. No, we did uh, actually this summer. We played outside mm -hmm. with it was a festival. With a day to remember, uh -huh, okay. uh, while she sleeps and uh, motionless and white. Okay, so yeah, and that was a great. That was a great show. Wonderful. And in terms of fans, the like difference back in in states, and then you come to Europe. What sort of differences do you find in the fans in terms of intensity and also the the love for music? They are much more uh, open in terms of uh, musical genres. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They're and they're they're. On the whole, I think they're more loyal. Okay. Uh, and they're, on the whole, much more intense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, first your ship tonight in Germany, you'll be exploring a lot of other European sectors, you know, playing. Uh, is anything outside that which you guys are planning to do down the road? Back to America, another tour, or maybe Australia? We're Australia. done for the year after this okay. tour. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're probably going to be. Starting writing in February, mm -hmm. so uh, where the plan is to not really go out on tour unless it's, it's something that is it's ready, you know, huge or, mm -hmm. or is something that we haven't done yet. But the, the previous tour has been amazing. That there was a, a fan, uh, more like a voting session with you guys in Five Finger Death Punch, and 1.6 million fans responded to that, and yeah. you guys did a U.S. tour. So. Do you see that that is more like a future of touring in terms of bands getting to come to different parts of the world? I think so. I think so. I mean, it's you know, it's talking directly with the people, people. who want you to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, I think it's it was a great <clears throat> thing for us to really determine where where it was where we needed to be, and and uh, I think that's probably something that will carry through. That's cool. Yeah. Where do you see you know in terms of uh, how? It all started to where you guys are now in terms of album sales and the fans' response. Uh, how do you think has this process been? Has it been like going on at the same level, or it has increased as the albums have come out? Uh, it's kind of it's kind of been up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, it it started to go down when when uh, it was our last record on uh, Geffen. Mm -hmm. They just stopped. Promoting that, and we we still had the mindset of everything should be done by the label. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't really take care of all, all of our own marketing mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was it wasn't until then that we realized we really have to start doing, doing things it for time. ourselves mm -hmm. and being in touch with the fans directly. And, right. And, and then it started to pick back up. And then Eleven Seven Music came into the picture, and yeah, you know, they they are good at what they do. So they're they're good at what they do. They're uh they they're able to. To spend some, you know, spend a lot of time on us, yeah. and uh, um, really kind of, it's it's a lot more of a collaboration, yeah, with the band mm -hmm. uh, in terms of marketing and, and all of that. It's not so much do we can we do we have to get the label's approval? It's, uh -huh. it's something that we say well, we want to do this. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? <laughs> if so, let's do it. I can, so. Cool. You know, uh, it's it's funny. I don't know whether you remember this incident, but when you guys released "Falling Apart." Mm -hmm. And on the very same day, 
uh, certain media sections started uh, the, the intro part of it and they started calling that, okay, stop for us going gent. Are you, <laughs> have, are you aware of that? Uh, no, I, I never heard of that, but that's that's funny. That's you know, it's uh, it's something that we have kind of done over the years. Mm -hmm. is just thrown in. Yeah, things, a lot of elements. You know, just different elements. Mm -hmm. And uh, admit, yeah. admittedly, there's a little bit of that in there. Yeah. You it, know, it, but it, it came as a surprise that that every media publication, many socks, many. Papa was going general, like, what the fuck is happening? Like, <laughs> and I don't know whether Batman was aware that this has happened because, you know, online right now is like endless world. A lot of things come up. That's so funny. is the band aware of that? <laughs> so we, we will be now, yeah. <laughs> and you, you've went into a lot of electronic elements mm -hmm. on, on, on fear as well. So is that something you guys plan to continue or still explore a different side? Because, you know, from the last three or four albums, there have been just lot of change in terms of how you guys have evolved it as musicians. Yeah. So do you see the same thing happening over the period of time? Um, I don't know if we'll necessarily keep as much of the electronics. Um, I, I think we'll do it where it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. but the mindset behind it has been just kind of having overdubs um, not be guitars mm -hmm. so that it's kind of a distinct okay. instrument. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about possibly simplifying stuff for the next album. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just making the sound as, as huge as possible. Okay. Um, now, when you say huge in terms of like heaviness or like everything, uh, all things, what type of project you've done? Um, he heaviness, maybe some, maybe just uh, not having so many layers so that okay. so that the individual. So simplified. Simplified, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, have you started writing or it's still like. A little bit. Okay. Just um, little riffs here and there, but nothing. Guys, write on road or you prefer to just. Take kind of you know rest on road and then when you go back home and you start doing. No, we do ride on the road sometimes. Okay. Not vocals, uh, right, lyrics yeah. or anything, but uh -huh. just music. Okay, and uh, what what's the tentative plans of the band to go into studio and start recording? Uh, we'll probably I don't know about actual recording, but we'll we'll probably start writing in February. So is the plan of kind of releasing it end of Feb or maybe early twenty seventeen or something? Uh. Possibly the end of 2017. Ah, okay, so yeah. the process is going to be long. Yeah. Okay, and then I was just wondering, you know, back in the day, during the, the, the school days, a, a song called Last Resort came out, which uh, changed the entire perception of, of, of childhood of many people, you know, who have grown up, you know. Do you have any memories of writing that song and ever visualizing that this song is going to become one of the most highly recognizable song of, you yeah. know? Actually, it was uh, our bass player Tobin that wrote the song on the piano. Okay. And he brought it to us mm -hmm. and said, "I have this melody. What do you think about, you know, putting it to this beat?" And you know, it it was actually um, the lyrics and the vocals Jacoby had written for a different song. Song. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. Okay. And so we, you know, he figured out a way to do it to this, and we, we thought it was a great song. We did obviously had no clue that it was going to be. Gonna end up it, it was, you know, it was something that where the stars had aligned, and mm -hmm. you know, we ha we happened to be on the right record label at the right time. Everything happened perfectly. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. Even the tracks "Cars" came out or "Getting Away with Murder." Those tracks are still on your set list. They are meant yeah. to be played because they are fan favorites. Yeah. Do you think that sort of uh, you know the fan response still carries on uh, in your new music where fans demand you guys to play certain tracks? Um, I think that uh, it's not as widespread mm -hmm. as, especially on these tours where there's lots of different other yeah. bands. Mm -hmm. But um, when we do our own shows, we do have that, that response where uh, particularly, I think for well, for Gravity. Okay. Yeah. But also for um, uh, Broken as Me, mm -hmm. uh, people love okay. hearing that song. And then that was actually it wasn't my favorite song mm -hmm. on the record. Uh, I didn't really like it too much. But then we started to play it live, and that it's it's taken a new life. New life. It's, yeah, I, think, I feel like it's much cooler to play and to hear live. Uh huh. Okay. Because it just has a lot of space to it. So. Right. In the, when you guys write songs, like you said, you, know, you, you, you didn't like the track. Is this kind of like, you know, do you prefer to still continue and release it 
as part of an album, or you may end up writing a new song which you like. Well, you know, it's we we are we're you know we're four Together. members, so yeah. if if three other people love the song, I'm not going to say no. Yeah. Fuck that. You know? yeah, yeah. So it, you know, uh, we do make compromises where where we need mutual cooperation among each other. Yes, wonderful. Yeah. And you know, the down the road, like you said, no more tours after that unless something big comes up. So. Uh, ever visualized or let's say hopeful to come to India and play for your fans there? I would love to. Uh, I think that it's something that uh, going to, to new places that for us anyway mm -hmm. is something that's been uh, a high priority on, on my list at least and you know we told that our booking agent um, and it's just a matter of being able to, to get, get the offers and, and having them the right amount of time to do it. Right. So. Um, since you say that, you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. following there, yeah, I, yeah. I think, you know, I think that's something that another, another conversation that we'll have to have with our yeah. community. You know, you could, you could take it this way that, that when all these, you know, kids, when they're, like I said, Scars, Last Resort came out, and that time they were not metalheads. So right. it was Pabaroch, it was bands like Nickelback, Pabaroch, you know, they were lo loving the tracks. I, in fact, I'm one of them. And then it changed over the period of time. But, Everybody getting into thrash and death and stuff, but still we have memories of that. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you have it there. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks, man. It's, cool. it's I had a great time having a chat. Yeah, with it's you. great talking with you. I look forward to seeing you guys live. Yeah, it's gonna be my first experience. First time. Yeah. Cool. So it should be it'll wonderful. Be, yeah, it'll be fun. Actually, all the bands on the bill oh, today tonight. for the first time, except cool. I've seen Howard with Killswitch. So that's okay. it. Um, so now that about should be great. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. It, was, it was great having yeah, a chat. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Yeah, it's a... Uh...